Now, nobody wants to go into a business where there's not a steady flow of customers. What we've done over here is develop a marketing system, a process methodical that we know is going to work. We spent a lot of money over the last, actually over 10 years trying to figure this out. But in the last couple of years, we've got it nailed down. When you come out to the conference, I'm going to give you this marketing system. You're paying for that. You get it in a three ring binder, everything we know how to do. And you can take it home and use it in your market. Step number one, we start with a small database of potential clients. Now, we'll have a territory. The territory might be five zip codes, 10 zip codes. There may be 10 or 20,000 businesses out here in this territory, but I'm only interested in about 1,500 to 2,000 that have five to 100 employees. I don't want anybody in retail because they're just too much work. I don't want people in government uh, associated businesses and a lot of accounts don't even want nonprofits involved. So we're really focused on a very targeted small market. The number one question when you start selling anything is not how do we sell it, but who do we sell it to? Who do we sell it to? So we start out with a small database. Now, once we get that small database, how do we get them to call us on the phone? This is simple. 12 times a year, we send out a postcard. The postcard simply says, outsource your bookkeeping. Well, see, I know that one out of five bookkeepers are gonna quit or get fired every year. And I know that probably one out of five, maybe even one out of two business owners are gonna figure out the bookkeeper's really not doing me that much good. And so there's always a constant churn in this marketplace. All I have to do is have my ad on the business owner's desk the day that they finally get fed up. So I mail the same people over and over and over. In our office, we send out 2,000 postcards every month. That costs me about $600. And I always get one or two or three or four or five calls every single time I do this. And so that's our number one marketing tool. Number two, we have a website called Cash Cow Accounting. And I've got SEO people out there working all the time. If you type in outsourced bookkeeping, we're going to come up in the first page on the search engines. And we do that because people that are shopping then we'll click on our website, they hear some of our presentation material, and they say, I want a free gift uh, so that I can determine if this is good for me. If you're using our system in your marketplace, any leads that come from Topeka, Kansas, and you're our accountant from Topeka, you get those leads. We're doing the work on a national basis. So the next big project we use is search engine optimization on a website, and that's included in your seminar. The third thing we do, we mail out and hand out CD-ROMs with the sales presentation on it. Now, mostly we take these to bankers because every banker in, in your community has business owners trace spin every day looking for a loan and the financials stink. So we want every banker to know that we'll do bookkeeping. Second thing, we want to go to every attorney in town. Now, here's the reason why. Can you imagine that every lawyer in town doesn't have at least one situation a month come in where they've got to do valuations or get some tax returns accomplished or something? You know, the business is going to sue somebody or they're getting sued or there's an evaluation or a breakup or divorce. Every lawyer trips up situations every month where they've got to have good financials in order to move forward on a case. You might as well be getting that work. And then, of course, we want to go to other accountants. There are several hundred accountants in one of these market areas. You're the one that's doing outsourced bookkeeping, and a lot of the other accountants don't want anything to do with QuickBooks or bookkeeping or any of the other this low-value work. They want to do the $200 and $300 an hour stuff. Well, we're going to do the work that's below that. Now, here's the reason why, and you'll remember this when you were young. If you really want to make money in business, do the dirty work, because that's where the real cash always has been. So, the uh, we're running the CD-ROMs out to the people that are good potential clients. Now, what else do we do? We send out emails to everybody that we've ever talked to, and once a week, we do Cash Cow Television. And I do a presentation at 10 a.m. on Wednesday specific time, a 30-minute pitch on why you should outsource. Well, every time you get a lead, make sure that they come to the next Cash Cow Television show because from the barn, I will explain why they should be buying outsourcing from you. Well, when we combine these five marketing techniques and keep in touch with the people that we've talked to through these emails to Cash Cow TV, and we pass out CD-ROMs, and we do the website and the postcards, and we work on a very targeted list of our best potential customers, what happens is very shortly we start to develop market awareness, and people start calling us and saying, you know, I'm just fed up. I've been looking at your cards for a year. I always throw them away, but would you come over? 
So you have a methodical process. Now, how much will it cost? That's really going to be your comfort level. I wouldn't try to go into this business without at least spending $600 a month on advertising. The first three years, my wife and I spent about four and a half thousand a month, but we dialed that back to about 1800 now. Now, is that worth it spending 1800 a month? Well, we get one or two clients every month and every client we bring in has a floor now of $20,000 a year in revenue. So I guess that's a pretty good, <laughs> that's a pretty good bargain. So we we'll look forward to seeing you at the conference. And when you leave, you're going to take everything with you on how to bring customers in the door. Oh.